Welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and it's been a while, geeks. Um, I've been busy with school. Uh, I returned to school, as some of you may know. Uh, I'm currently working on my master's degree, so that takes up a lot of my time. I'm also substitute teaching now, so that takes up even more time. So with that being said, let's get into it. Today on the show, and for the next couple weeks, I've got some pop reviews coming your way. And this will culminate in a final pop that I just received today. I'm thinking I'll do one pop a week for the next, starting this week for five weeks. And then in the final video, we'll put all these pops together and see how they look together. The pop we're going to look at today is Carl Winslow. This is the Pop Television 100 Celebrating Every Story from Warner Brothers. Uh, this is pop number 1377. Um, so the next, this review plus the next four will revolve around Family Matters. Uh, I'll be reviewing Carl today. Uh, next week, I'll be reviewing Eddie Winslow, then Laura Winslow, Stefan Urkel, and Steve Urkel. Now, something I found interesting. Uh, I came across this pop at Target uh, last week. And I've, I've long been a Family Matters fan. Um, I watch it with my kids every Friday on HBO Max. I guess it's now Max. And I'm, we've started our own TGIF. Uh, we started this like two, maybe three years ago. I think it was two years ago. Where we find the old TGIF shows. And we spend two hours just watching them. We'll order dinner. And we'll watch our own personal TGIF lineup. Uh, this usually starts with Family Matters on HBO Max. Goes into Sister Sister on Hulu. Sabrina the Teenage Witch on Hulu. And then ending with Boy Meets World on Disney+. Plus. And my kids love Family Matters. Just as much as I do. Uh, for the longest time, I could not find Family Matters anywhere on cable TV. I know they aired it early in the mornings on BET. I rarely got up that early. Occasionally I would catch it. A few years back, my brother-in-law had downloaded some old TGIF episodes, the actual full television block, and burned them onto DVDs for me. Um, these were like the Christmas episodes, the Halloween episodes, stuff like that, which I really loved. I, I wish TV would go back to airing family-friendly sitcoms like this that actually had holiday episodes like Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. We don't get that anymore. We usually either have children's sitcoms or adult sitcoms but never family sitcoms like what family matters was and that's a real disappointment will friedel talked about this uh, a couple weeks ago on the pod meets world podcast and i it's just it's something i wish television would return to i know we're all about streaming nowadays but if brought a network actually aired a programming block of family-friendly television like T the old TGIF. Not what TGIF has turned into over the years or that they've tried to do with it, but the old TGIF with family-friendly sitcoms, you know, Perfect Strangers, Full House, Family Matters, Boy Meets World, Sabrina, the list goes on and on. I think they would receive ratings equal to, if not superseding those that they got in the 90s at the height of its popularity. But that's just me. Without further ado... Let's go ahead and get into this review. So as I said, this is Funko Pop Television, Warner Brothers Celebrating Every Story 100, uh, number 1377, Carl Winslow, Carl Winslow Final Figure. And this, it's, I'm not sure how uh, this matches up to Sergeant Al Powell, which was also performed by Reginald Vell Johnson, who played Carl Winslow. Um, he had his own pop um, in the Die Hard series uh, a few years back. In fact, let me go ahead and bring it up and see how it looks compared to. All right, so we'll go to Google. Powell Funko Pop. This is one that has always eluded me. Uh, it's one of the only pops from the um, Die Hard line that has eluded me. So it does look like they changed Reginald Vell Johnson's head um, from the Al Powell pop to this one. 
Um, it looks completely different, actually. Uh, in the Al Powell pop, uh, he's holding a bunch of Twinkies and stuff, and he's got his coat on and everything. Uh, they may have reused the bottom portion. I'm not sure. Maybe just the mold and re-sculpted the um, torso and arms. Because um, the bottom does look very similar. But I don't know. I, I'm unable, I've am i been unable to find the Al Powell. I don't have him just yet. And forgive me, guys. I did wake up this morning uh, with a stuffy nose, severely congested uh, due to the weather changing back and forth between hot and cold. I'm in central Illinois. Uh, the other day it was 70 degrees. Today it's like 44 degrees. I guess it's like 53 right now. But yeah, the the weather change has done nothing for my for my allergies and my congestion and everything. So just going to have to deal with it. But let's take a look at the box. You got the Warner Brothers 100 years um, type uh, logo and stuff here. Uh, you got Funko, Pop Television. Uh, here's the side. Carl Winslow, 1377. Here's the other side. This is usually how I display my Funko Pops. Uh, this side out. Uh, which, at the end of this, I may just take you on a tour of my collection. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll save that for another day. But here's the back. Um, as you can see, you got the Family Matters logo there. You got Carl Winslow, Eddie Winslow, Laura Winslow, and Steve Urkel. Now... They do actually have um, Steve Urkel listed as 1380. However, that's, I, I think they double numbered because briefly we'll bring in Stefan Urkel, which is 1380. Uh, and they have Stefan Urkel listed as Steve Urkel. But he's not Steve Urkel. He's Stefan. Um, in fact, in the later seasons, he became his own separate person. Um, we'll talk more about that when we get to Stefan and Steve. So anyway, let's go ahead and open the box and take a look at that at this pop final. Okay, so as usual, this pop does come in a clamshell. Uh, it is the part with the latches. So you just those pull out Carl and we'll move this to the side so Carl was always my favorite character on family matters um, my wife and I when we rewatched it a few years back um, we realized that we were at the time we were only a couple years younger than Carl and Harriet in the first season of the show. And that made us feel old then. And now we're as old as Carl and Harriet. Um, a couple seasons into the show. So I don't know. I, it, it's, it's really making me feel old. Um, my wife too, but not as much as me. I remember growing up watching this. She watched a few episodes, but nothing. She was never really big into it like I was. Um, so Carl Winslow was played by Reginald Vell Johnson, uh, who for comic book fans might recognize from the comic book series and the new uh, Amazon series, Invincible. Uh, the high school, Reginald Vell Johnson High School, is where Mark Grayson attends. And that was named after this actor. Um, the principal was actually based on the likeness of Reginald Vell Johnson. Um, and then in the Amazon series, they actually got Reginald Vell Johnson to voice the principal. So, that is a cool nod. Um, I've always liked Reginald Vell Johnson. In fact, I've always had this thing where 
his characters from Ghostbusters, uh, Crocodile Dundee, Die Hard, and Family Matters were all the same person, just at different points in his life. Uh, and to me, that makes sense. You know, uh, I know that's not actually what what happened or the character, but that's what I like to think. So anyway, nice pop. He can turn his head all the way around, though it is pretty tight. Uh, and he's just in his classic police pose, you know, his hands holding his belt. Um, got his gun there. Um, no radio or anything. Uh, you got his tie and his clip, his badge. Um, let me check real quick. I want to say those are his lieutenant stripes. I'm not fully um, knowledgeable about stripes. So let me check that real quick. Okay, so these are his sergeant stripes. Uh, it would appear that this would be like the first couple season, first, second season. Because uh, I think later on, uh, third season, he became, no, he became lieutenant in the season that we are currently watching, which is about midway through the series. He later becomes captain. Uh, but this appears to be Carl Winslow from earlier in the series, as noted by the full head of hair with just the widow's peak. And then he's not quite as overweight here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Family Matters was a spinoff of another, another TGIF show, Perfect Strangers. It was meant to be Harriet's spinoff. It was going to be Joe Marie Payton's series as the character Harriet uh, and her husband, Carl. Uh, they both were in Perfect Strangers. I want to say they lived in Larry and Balky's apartment building. Uh, Harriet was also the ele elevator operator uh, at the uh, Chicago newspaper that they worked at until her position became obsolete. Eddie had been born already in the series in perfect strangers. I'm not sure about Laura though. Um, but then whenever they got their own series, family matters, um, they had lived in their house since Eddie was little. Um, and I want to say Laura was born in the house or born while they were living in the house. Same with Judy, but I'll have to double check that. Um, and there's really no mention of Harriet's time working at the Chronicle. Um, but this is a nice homage to the earlier years of the series family matters, as well as perfect strangers. Um, being that he's got his sergeant stripes and there's really no, nothing to indicate that he's a Chicago police officer. This could actually double as Sergeant Al Powell. Um, if they want, if Funko wanted to re-release this, um, sometime, um, uh, maybe put like some, uh, dirt or dust or whatever on him to indicate the end of the movie. Um, they most certainly could re-release him as Sergeant Al Powell. Very nice pop. I really like it. Um, as soon as I saw this in the collection at Target, I knew I had to get him. Um, long time Family Matters fan. Um, I, I grew up watching the show. It's it's comfort food for me. It was it's sad that Joe Murray Payton ended up leaving the show because um, of contract disputes and everything, and what, because of the direction the show went, um, basically focusing around Steve Urkel, who didn't even show up in the series 
until later in the first se- season. Uh, it was about halfway through the first season. He was supposed to be a one-off character. Fans went crazy for him. Um, and that's how it is. Uh, I do wish Funko would have uh, added Harriet, um, uh, Grandma Winslow, or Estelle, I mean, and Rachel into the collection too. As of now, all we've got are Carl, Eddie, Laura, Steve and Stefan. Um, it'd be nice to have the whole family there. Uh, as well as little Richie. I'm not sure about 3J though. He showed up in, I want to say the last season. Maybe the last two seasons. I could be wrong. I haven't gotten to that point on the rewatch yet. But I really like the detail of this figure. Um, I'm going to love displaying him with the other characters from Family Matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, If you're at Target or Walmart or wherever else that sells Funko Pops and happen to come across one of the Family Matters Pops, I highly suggest picking them up. Uh, Carl's head, uh, I forgot to mention, it is not hollow um, like a lot of Pops were early on. It is pretty solid. Um, so, I mean, it's probably the heaviest part of him. Um, and he, he stands well without a base. So anyway, tell me what your favorite episode of Family Matter was in the comments below. I've been Shannon. This has been Comigen TV. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out one of these two playlists for more videos just like the one you just watched. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.